Hey guys, what's good? I was at the Montreal Auto Fest where Daniel Hertz's Chiara loudspeakers and the Maria 800 integrated amplifier was being showcased by Audio Excellence for the first time. I am very new to this brand by Mark Levinson, but even at the show setting, I could tell that this was a pretty revolutionary technology doing some very unique things to reproduce music in a way that really hasn't been done before. Thankfully, Adrian from Audio Excellence was able to explain some of the technology and what it does in his presentation and demo. Although I was not able to record the sound demo part due to the YouTube copyright laws and the show environment in general, I was able to capture some of his explanations, so hopefully this provides you some value. Let's say you really like the integrated amplifier, but you have a pair of speakers you like, uh, Sonus Fiber or JBL, uh, whatever it is. You really like the sound and you want to optimize it. You can work together with the um, factory representatives and over a team viewer, they can fine tune the sound of your speakers to optimize them to your room and to your taste. So that's one option. The other thing that the Mighty Cat also does is in the case of the 800, uh, it does all the crossover inside the chip. So inside the speaker, there are no uh, uh, capacitors, no resistors, no inductors. The signal goes directly from the amplifier to the speaker. And so all the crossover technology is built inside the chip. Also, all the time alignment is done inside the chip. So uh, this tweeter uh, uh, can be in line and the time alignment is done inside the chip itself. So that's what the Mighty Cat does. And then finally, Daniel Hertz uh, came up with this product or this process called uh, C-Wave, uh, short for continuous wave. Um, uh, David and I were just having this conversation a little bit earlier. When many of you will remember when digital first came out, the first things that struck us as, wow, there's no noise. But then many of us also discovered it doesn't sound that great. It could sound harsh. It could sound... I don't know, maybe not all that great. We were used to maybe what analog sounded, but certainly a lot of people didn't enjoy what digital sounded like. Well, Mark has always been bothered by that. And part of the reason Mark has always been bothered by that is because Mark in an earlier life did a lot of recordings. Uh, you can probably still find some of his recordings on the internet and so on. But besides that, he's also in his early life, a professional musician. He played with many top uh, re, uh, jazz artists, um, Coltrane, uh, Paul Blay, um, Sonny Stitt. You can go on and on. He's played with a lot of them. And he's recorded them as well. He also uh, uh, did uh, mastering as an engineer. Uh, he remastered uh, Miles Davis's Birth of Cool. So he's no stranger to what live instruments sound like. He plays it all the time. So he was trying to find a way to make digital more like his master tapes. So C-Wave is his answer. Now C-Wave just got a patent from the uh, uh, patent office in the US. And what C-Wave, according to Mark, does is it seems to somehow make digital more analog sounding and it also seems to relax you more. Uh, they actually had to do a bunch of studies to prove that case. And I haven't seen the, the actual studies yet, but I'm just giving you the overview behind what C-Wave does. Anyway, all that technology is inside the Mighty Cat chip. So that's what, when you get a Maria amplifier, that's what you get, all this technology. All right, so then uh, the speakers. I mentioned very quickly, this uh, eight, inch, uh, eight inch woofer and this, they call it an air restriction tweeter. It's sort of a ribbon tweeter. I don't know that much about it yet try to find out later. Um, what's fascinating is that this 8-inch woofer actually has a free air resonance of 27 hertz. I'll play that for you in a moment just so that we can test that. Um, and then at the very end we'll, we'll take a couple of questions because we won't go too long or we'll bore you and so on. So first let me uh, very quickly play a test tone just to show you that it actually can do that very low frequency. This is 31 hertz. 